In this video, we will be dealing with the branches of axillary artery and some MCQs related to this topic. So, first of all, we will discuss about the branches of axillary artery. We are discussing about the branches. Now let's draw the diagram. This is the first step. Record process. Humerus. And there's a muscle here. This is a teres major muscle. Teres major muscle. In the, this is the axillary artery extending from the outer boot of the first teres to the lower boot of teres major muscle. The axillary artery. You can see the muscle background is fine. Divides it into three parts. The part which is proximal to the background is minor, that is the first part. The part which is under the muscle is known as the second part, and the part which is present distal to the muscle is the third part of the axillary artery. So, this is the first part, this is the second part, and this is the third part. Now, let's see the branch which is arising from the first part of the axillary artery. You can see that there is only one branch which is arising from the first part of axillary artery. That branch arises near the subclavius muscle. This is that branch. This branch arises here and it passes downwards, forwards and medially and supplies it to pectoral muscle and the thoracic wall. This branch is known as the superior thoracic artery. Superior thoracic artery. So the superior thoracic artery is the branch of first part of axillary artery. It arises near the subclavius muscle, passes downwards, forwards, and medially, and it passes between the two pectoral muscles and supplies the two pectoral muscles and it also supplies the thoracic wall. So, branch from the first part is the only one branch that is the superior thoracic artery. This is a small branch arises near the subclavius muscle and passes downwards, forwards and medially and it supplies the pectoral muscles supplies pectoral muscles and thoracic bone That's the branch arising from the first part. Now let's discuss about the branches which are arising from the second part of axillary artery. Now 
started branch from the second part. Branches from the second part of axillary artery. So that we will draw the diagram again. This is the full breast. This is the coracoid process. Humerus. You can see the humerus major muscle. So this is the axillary artery extending from the outer border also to the lower border of this major muscle. And you will see the pectoralis minor muscle dividing into three parts. Now this is the humor branch from the second part of axillary artery. So there is a branch which is arising from the second part. It arises near the upper border of the pectoralis minor muscle like this. So this branch which is a branch of second part of the axillary artery arising near the upper border of the pectoralis minor muscle is known as the thoracoacromial artery. So the thoracoacromial artery again divides into so many branches. One branch Actually, the branches of thoracoacromial artery pierces the clavi pectoral fascia and it gives out numerous branches. The branches are, it gives out a pectoral branch which passes between the two pectoral muscles and supplies the two pectoral muscles. So that branch is known as pectoral branch. Uh, there is another branch which passes supramedially and it ends by supplying the stenoclavicular clavicular joint and the subclavius muscle. That branch is known as clavicular branch. And there is another branch which passes through the coracoid process and raises the acromion and takes part takes part in anastomosis across the acromion that branch is known as the acromion branch acromion branch and there is another branch from here it passes across the passes through the deltoid pectoral group along with the cephalicate that is known as the deltoid branch so the branches of thoracochromial artery are the pectoral branch which supplies the pectoral muscles and the breast, the clavicular branch which supplies the sternoclavicular joint and the subclavius muscle, acromial branch which takes part in anastomosis across the acromion, and there is a deltoid branch passing through the deltoid pectoral group. So there are two branches arising from the second part of axillary artery. One is the thoracoacromial artery. The thoracoacromial artery gives branches like pectoral branch, and this pectoral branch supplies pectoral muscles. And the breast and the second is the clavicular branch which supplies the sternoclavicular joint and the subclavius muscle and the reason 
एफ्रोमर ब्रांच स्टेपलास्ट इन एनास्टोमोस सराउंड द एक्रोमी एंड देयर इज मदर ब्रांच व्हिच इज द डेल्टोइड ब्रांच व्हिच पासेस थ्रू द डेल्टो पेक्टरल ग्रुप एंड द सेकंड branch which is arising in the second part of the axillary artery that is arising near the lower border of this pectoralis minor vessel that is the lateral thoracic artery it arises near the lower border of pectoralis minor muscle and passes like this in females this artery is quite longer and it gives branches like lateral mammary branches this is the branch This is a lateral thoracic artery. So, second branch is lateral thoracic artery. In females, it gives rise to lateral. memory branches so these are the branches arising in the second part of axillary artery now we will deal with the branches arising in the third part of axillary artery so the branches from the third part and uh, let's again draw the diagram and this is the first one the coracoid pose is the humerus in the trevis major muscle and this is the axillary artery In the pectoralis minor dividing the muscle into three parts. And let's see the branches arising from the third part of axillary artery. These are the branches arising near the lower border of the subscapularis muscle. This is the largest branch of axillary artery. Passes like this, and this branch is known as subscapular artery. This is this branch is known as subscapular artery, which is the largest branch of axillary artery. Subscapular artery. and the subscapular artery it supplies the serratus anterior muscle and the latissimus dorsi and it gives out a branch which is known as this branch of the subscapular artery is known as circumflex scapula circumflex scapular artery The circumflex scapular artery, the branch of subscapular artery, it winds around the lateral border of the scapula. It takes part in anastomosis around the body of the scapula, and it supplies the subscapularis muscle and the inferior spinosis muscle. And after giving out this branch, it continues at the thoracic dorsal artery. This artery is the thoracic dorsal artery. So branches in the third part. The first branch is the subscapular artery. The 
ഫ്ലെക്സിബിൾ സബ് സ്കാപ്പുലർ ആർട്ടറി ഇസ് ദ ലാർജസ്റ്റ് ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് എക്സിലറി ആർട്ടറി ആൻഡ് സബ് സ്കാപ്പുലർ ആർട്ടറി ഗിവ്സ് റൈസ് ടു സോകംപ്ലക്സ് സ്കാപ്പുലർ and continues as the record of the artery so the subscapular artery supplies latissimus dorsi and serrated anterior muscle and the circumflex scapula supplies subscapularis and infraspinatus muscle and it takes part in anastomosis around the body of the scapula around the scapula so this is the first one and this is another branch which arises here this is known as the anterior circumflex femoral artery which passes in front of the intertubular circles of the humerus like this and it gives out an ascending branch which supplies the head of humerus and also the shoulder joint and the anterior circumflex femoral artery is anastomosis with the posterior circumflex femoral artery around the surgical neck of humerus this artery which passes in front of the intertubular sulcus of the humerus is known as the anterior circumflex humeral artery so the branch is anterior circumflex humeral the anterior circumflex humeral passes in front of intertubular sulcus sulcus of humerus and it gives out a ascending branch which supplies the head of humerus and the shoulder joint and it anastomoses with the posterior circumflex humeral and the third branch is the posterior circumflex humeral artery and the posterior circumflex humeral artery it arises here it passes through the quadrangular space and passes through the posterior aspect of surgical neck of humerus and anastomoses with the anterior circumflex humeral artery it gives out a descending branch which anastomoses with the ascending branch of profund abacal artery so the posterior circumflex humeral artery supplies the muscles forming the quadrangular space it also supplies the shoulder joint posterior circumflex humeral artery passes through the quadrangular space and it supplies the deltoid muscles forming the quadrangular space and also the shoulder joint
passes through the quadrangular space and through the posterior aspect of surgical neck of humerus. And anastomos with the anterior circumflex humeral artery. So, anterior circumflex humeral has got a ascending branch, it supplies the shoulder joint and the head of humerus. Posterior circumflex humeral has got a descending branch, it's an astromos with ascending branch of profunda brachial artery. So that's all about the branches of the third part. There are three branches arising in the third part of the axillary artery. The largest branch of the axillary artery is subscapular artery and it is circumflex humeral artery, posterior circumflex humeral artery. So for those who find it difficult to learn these branches, there is a mnemonic. See the lines. and protect species so take the first alphabet this stands for superior thoracic C stands for thoracoacromy L stands for lateral thoracic A stands for anterior circumflex humeral. C stands for posterior circumflex humeral. A stands for subscapular artery. And there is only one branch arising from the first part. Two branches arising from the second part of the axillary artery and three branches arising from the third part. Now we will discuss some questions from this part. The first question is which is the largest branch of the axillary artery? We have discussed this question. And that is definitely the subscapular artery. So option V is the correct answer that is subscapular artery. Second question, which one of this is the branch of second part of axillary? We will look into the option. The subscapular artery is the branch of third part of axillary artery. So it's not the answer. Option B, superior thoracic artery, which is definitely the branch of first part of axillary artery. So it is not the answer. The option is thoracoacromial artery that is definitely the branch of second part of axillary artery arising near the upper bone of petralis minor muscle. And option D is circumflex scapula which is a branch of subscapular artery which is again a branch of third part of axillary artery. So the answer here is thoracoacromial artery that is option C. The question here is Arteries forming anastomosis around the surgical neck of humerus are branches of. So, which are the arteries forming anastomosis around the surgical neck of humerus? These are the anterior circumflex humeral artery and posterior circumflex humeral artery, which are branches of third part of axillary artery. So, the answer here is option C, third part of axillary artery. So, identify the artery marked as 5. This is the artery marked as 5. So, Look at the region where the axillary uh, branch arises. You can see that branch is arising above the petralis minor. So it is a branch of first part of axillary. Sorry, it is arising near the upper border of petralis minor. So it is arising from the second part of axillary artery. That is five, which is arising at the upper border of petralis minor. That is definitely the thoracoacromial artery. So, fifth one is thoracoacromial artery, which is a branch of second part of axillary artery. 
we are looking for another option third one is third one we can choose the third one arising from the first part of axillary artery you know we can see that it passes between the pectoral muscle and the branch to the thoracic one so only branch which is arising from the first part of axillary artery is the superior thoracic the third one is superior thoracic artery and look into the option look into the number seven it is arising near the lower border of pectoralis minor we have learned about an artery arising from the lower border of pectoralis minor that is the lateral thoracic and look into the option nine option nine uh, this is a branch arising from the third part of axillary artery that is the subscapular artery and the uh, one is circumflex scapula, ten is thoracodosa, second one is anterior circumflex femoral, fourth one is posterior circumflex femoral. That's all about branches of axillary artery. To see more videos from our channel, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.